Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the Honor 6, which is a new smartphone from a brand you probably have never heard of. Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the new Honor 6 Android smartphone. This is a new budget uh, super phone, I would say, from a brand you've probably never heard of. But it is actually, in fact, owned by one of the biggest technical technology companies in the world. Um, what makes this stand out is it's an incredibly great value for money. It's a, it's a 1.3 octa-core with a 5-inch screen, beautiful 5-inch screen there, with a 3 gigabytes of RAM, which is definitely super, le super phone level of, of RAM, plus a 16 gigs on board uh, storage, a 3100 milliamp hour battery, and a 13 megapixel camera on the rear there with double flash. It's running Android 4.4.2, and the screen is 1920 by 1080, so it's full t uh, HD, which is really nice. We really like a number of, of points of, uh, about this this phone, and when when we tell you when we go through it, we want you to remember that it's about half the price of, of your, your typical top line uh, smartphone, and the specs equal those. First, let's take a look at what's in the box. So you get a typical array of charge block, USB cable and headset, plus a nicely packaged user guide and some screen protectors. Um, the user guide actually is very impressive until you realize that it's only the first few pages for it's only a, a, a very short space, number of pages for each language so it's actually quite a tiny user guide <laughs> in a very thick international volume anyway it's it's a it's a good showing so back to the phone itself what is it that we we like about the phone well we've got a a very nice um, beautiful screen gorilla glass 3 so it's um it's quite tough um the build quality of it we think is nice some people have said it's it, it's a bit plastic we think it's 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 a very nice a very nice it reminds us a little bit of the sony z3 which is about double the price um but it's got that kind of um square hand hand friendly kind of a form factor which we like quite a lot so what have we got here? We've got headphone socket at the top. There's an IR infrared at the top, which actually doesn't have an app to go with it yet, but one assumes it will come through. There's a bottom speaker, the 13 megapixel um, rear camera. There's a five megapixel front camera for selfies. So you get a, a, a definite upgrade on your selfie qualities from now on. Um, your micro USB at the bottom. One thing we really like is the fact that you get a micro SD slot up. Well, we've got a 64 gig in there. Um, uh, it seems to be working fine. It's seeing all the 64 gigs. I, I think some of the specs said it was 32, but it might be a different, different model. And there's the uh, SIM card slot, which goes in there. You can't remove the 3100 milliamp hour battery. It is um, locked into the case. So that's a, one thing you know we're not hugely fond of, but hey, you know we'll, we'll, we'll compromise if the phone's good in every other way. So what about the phone itself? Well, it's running um, what um, is the honor people call um, the EMUI, um, Emotion uh, User Interface, which is this you're seeing here, uh, and it, which is themed, and this is the default theme that comes out of the box. One unusual thing about this, we've seen this before on the InFocus uh, phone, is it has no app drawer. So all the apps you install go straight onto the home screen like this. You can, however, create nice little folders and group them all in folders, which is quite nice. One of the things we like about this a lot is, is the fact that it's very, very customizable if you want to customize it. So you can have it as simple or as, as uh, custom as you want for your own particular purposes. Let's give you a quick example. So if you're not really one of those who likes complicated screens, then what we suggest you do is flick it over to the simple screen. And what that means is you get this kind of um, Windows Metro kind of tile look, but it's very much easier to use. So you don't get the complicated icons everywhere. So you've got dialer, messaging, camera contacts, music. I, I, I suspect quite a few people, 
you know will like to have this uh, facility it just gives you an, op an option to have a much simpler interface which uh, which is uh, a really cool thing to offer we think and when you if you want to switch it back again you just hit the standard home and there you go you're back to a standard sort of uh, uh, android look look and feel now the one of the other cool things about this one is it it, it has the facility it's compatible with uh, lte 4g lte cat 6 which is actually only now just being rolled out so for a budget phone to be this up to bang smack bang up to date with the the 4g is really impressive as far as battery life is concerned um the phone is uh, it's a mixture it has it has a very um sophisticated uh, power management system on board it will last without a question a day you know and a day and a half i think it will if you're not if you're just using it normally without any heavy lifting then it is easily attainable maybe even two days if you're pushing it we're getting roughly a day and a half now out of it which is pretty good compared to uh, to alternatives of this kind of power in terms of raw performance the uh honor 6 stands right up there amongst the uh the, the main mainstream contenders part of it could be because they're using their own uh chip so it's it's the uh huawei kirin processor octa-core processor so they're not relying on the standard qualcomm that's obviously given them some kind of an edge and the three gigs of ram can't hurt of course how does that translate to playing games i hear you ask so here's just a quick example of playing conor mccray rally um and as you can see this this amazing screen is just <laughs> phenomenal and the processing power is eating up uh <laughs> the graphics so the result is, yeah, this is amazing, amazing for the price. Included on the phone as standard, you get things like a magnifier, torch, calculator, notepad. Um, I like the magnifier one, it's quite cute. Um, it gives you the ability to have a, a really close up look at things, you know, just by using the camera, which is not something I've seen commonly before. Quite a nice little feature. So this is coming straight in off 3G. Um, no Wi-Fi connection at all as you can see it's about as fast as the <laughs> Wi-Fi almost and you'll get faster than this even with them um, with a uh, 4G high-speed 4G out there this is over 3G I mean you can't complain about this get full access to the Play Store so no problem about getting hold of any of the hundreds of thousands of movies and games and apps and all that kind of stuff on as far as things like um the speakers and the sound the, the, we found the sound quality to be great um on on calls uh crystal clear on calls uh, absolutely no problem with calls at all it's got a single single speaker as we said and it's loud enough you know you can hear i'm having to raise my voice uh you know these these phones don't produce amazing sounds out of their speakers even when you've got something like an M8 with stereo speakers in it, but it's good enough. There's also a cool, cool feature, which is instant shot, which is um, just hit the volume button a couple of times and within under a second, what's that, 0.7 of a second, you get yourself a photograph, which is great if you're just carrying it in your pocket and you don't want to miss something cool. If you take a no normal standard shot, take your time with it, then, you know, 13 megapixels will give you a very respectable shot indeed as you can see and i'll put up some uh, some more sample shots but the camera is yes as good as as any you'll find there you have it the honor 6 smartphone android smartphone for the price um the best phone we've seen and, and reviewed yet the huawei people are really taking this whole smartphone arena seriously and this is their first real attempt at a flagship um a real flagship which which which, which can match the biggest and the best that htc and sony and samsung can produce and it does it really does if you're looking for a, a, a top-end smartphone you should definitely definitely put this on your list and at the price it's an absolute bargain the honor six as usual if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel use the little button it's very useful thanks very much